Assalamualaikum and good morning. Sarawak is investing in physical and digital infrastructures to tap into the benefits of advanced technology and transition to digital tourism. This will lead to opening up of many job opportunities and generating new revenue streams. According to Chief Minister Dato Patigia Bang Zohari Trabah Jioping, tourism-related businesses are transforming to stay relevant. The focus on digital and information technology is a powerful catalyst to economic growth and potentially creating more business opportunities which benefit the tourism industry. He said this in his speech, read out by Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture, Dato Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza, at the International Conference on Archaeology 2019, promoting archaeology as heritage tourism. The three hydrogen buses will be operational for public transport only after an issue over contaminated fuel has been rectified. Transport Minister Dato Lee Kim Shin confirmed that contaminant liquid was detected at the receptacle of the three hydrogen buses. He, however, could not give a date for the problem to be solved except to say that Sarawak Energy SEB and experts from technology partner and system integrator for the pilot project Linda EOX Sundiam Bahad will work closely to address the issue. Sarawak would not be able to apply the proposed inclusion of deoxyribonucleic acid DNA information in birth certificates. Minister of Welfare, Community Welfare, Women, Family and Childhood Development, Datuk Sri Fatima Abdullah, called on the federal government to review the National Registration Department's JPN proposal by taking into account in Sarawak's requirements and situation. She pointed out there are still many cases of Sarawakians, in particular from indigenous communities without identity documents. She said implementing the DNA proposal would merely worsen existing problems for such individuals. That's all from me. For more news, go to tvstart.com. Don't forget to share this video. I'm Imbal Yusuf. Thanks for watching.